I got some nice size onions. So that's my English cucumber. What's nice about these, this one's called Flavor Burst. So with these karabi, I like to, so we'll pull a couple potatoes and just see what they look like. This is the first time I've ever planted Mexican sunflowers. Hi, welcome back to the garden. My name is Dawn. Today we're gonna to be doing a lot of harvesting and we're also gonna show you a little tour around the garden as we're harvesting. Uh, I wanna show you my cucumbers. They're doing very well. I have uh, a whole bunch started. I got a lot of pickling cucumbers. Uh, they've grown a lot since we uh, put up the last video. And I'm sure everybody's in this heat wave, but it's been about four weeks. And I'm very happy because the cucumbers still have a lot of flowers on them and they're still producing small cucumbers. A lot of times in this heat, the cucumbers, the tomatoes and peppers especially drop their flowers and then they don't produce until the night temperature comes down. So right now the cucumbers and tomatoes are doing great. They still have lots of uh, flowers on them. We have lots of cucumbers. And we have my indeterminate tomatoes here. I plant cherry type tomatoes on each end and the rest of my tomatoes that we grow vertically are the uh, slicers and the ones we like to eat. These are my indeterminate tomatoes. But uh, look at these clusters of tomatoes. So we're gonna ha have a lot. These are my determinate tomatoes. They are doing pretty well. They usually come in all at once, pretty close together. So they're just starting to produce tomatoes. And since we're here, I'm gonna pick a couple onions. These onions are almost done. So I'll just grab a couple. Saying this heat has been hard on everything. But I got some nice size onions. Now we're going to pick some cucumbers. Can't wait to make cucumber salad. All right, before we start picking the cucumbers, I just want to show you that with my cucumbers and my tomatoes that I grow vertically, we limb them up so they get lots of air circulation. And I've done it to this side already. And then on this side, I haven't limbed them up. You see how they're they're full to the ground and they don't give as much air circulation. Also, I like to limb them up a little so the bees and pollinators can get to the flowers very easily. Like you see here on top, there's a lot of bees up here. There's a bee, the, the flowers are exposed. But down here, if you look, I'm sure there's not as many bees. Nope. That's why we like to limb them up. So this is a row of our bush beans. We have in here, wax beans. These are the yellow wax beans. And then at the other end, that is uh, jade. Those are green string beans. And these definitely need to be harvested. They're all ready. I'm going to be canning these. And uh, they're perfect because you just have to cut the ends off and then snap them in half and they are uh, very quick to uh, can. And we'll probably just, after we pull these out, we pull these out and then we harvest all the beans off them and we have another round of beans all ready to be put in here so we're going to plant those in here right after we pull these out so today i'm just mainly picking the biggest ones and putting them in a the fridge so what's nice about growing them vertically it's so easy to pick them I have my cart. That makes it really nice also. Depending on how many I pick today, I make a lot of pickles. So probably I'll make, instead of doing the pickle, the long-term pickles, I'll probably make a couple batches of the refrigerator pickles. Wait. So with my cucumbers, I have mostly pickling, but here is a slicer. And this one is generally, I have my tags here, so I know which I have my tags here so I know which cucumbers I planted where. 
So General Lee is a very nice slicer, but my main cucumber I love is the English cucumbers. They're on the other side of the garden, so we'll take you over there. And so part of the tour, this is another row of my indeterminate tomatoes. Like I said, I have the cherry types on the ends and here, Tom, I'm going to get a shot of this. We have lots of clusters of tomatoes. These are the slicers. And on this side of the garden, I have actually two beds of uh, flowers for pollinators. And I also get hummingbirds in here all the time. So flowers are just starting to do well. Then I got some sunflowers. My zinnias, the hummingbirds. I think the hummingbirds love the zinnias the best. So down here, this is the first time I've ever planted Mexican sunflowers. This, I've been very impressed with this so far. The bees and the hummingbirds love this. But what's really cool about this, you can't tell, but every part of this plant, the leaves and the stems, they feel like velvet. They're so soft. It's like incredible. And they're supposed to produce all summer long into fall. And they get very large and bushy. So we put it on the end and uh, it should bring lots of pollinators in. So real quick here, I have melons and then here I have my pole beans and these are my uh, Monte Gusto pole beans or wax beans. These produce so much. And then I have my regular green string beans on here. So I'm going to be doing a lot of canning soon. And then here are my English cucumbers. And so here are my English cucumbers and they are doing great. So that's my English cucumber. What's nice about these, they have a very thin skin. You can eat the skin if you want. They have little to no seeds and they are burpless and they never get bitter. They are simply amazing. This is, if I buy cucumbers in a store, this is the only kind I buy. So, I have a good amount of those on here. And here's another big one. And like I said, I'm going to make cucumber salad, but I like to just eat these. I slice them, dip them in ranch dressing. That's my favorite. But uh, these are great. All right, so here we have another bed. This one has dill at the end, and we have lots of eggplants planted here. They're not big enough yet, but I got an eggplant started. And then I have hot peppers down here. I have polbanos. I have mostly Hungarian wax peppers. I use these in everything. They're just like amazing. And this year I planted, now if you can see this, I'll pick one. These are small. I'm gonna make uh, poppers out of them. These are the black jalapenos. Very nice. And I also like to plant lots of things with color. But my Hungarian wax pepper, they are, they turn red or orange when they're turning, but they're not too hot. See, I don't like really hot food, but they have just enough heat but they have a really good flavor. So those are very good. So I only need that many for now. So this is my neighbor's goats. They are adorable. They just had babies. You see the babies are all walking around. Now, once we pull our beans, this is what's nice about my neighbor having goats here, that all the leaves and extra beans that I don't use, I throw over the fence and the goats get to eat them. So uh, they used to me feed them, that's why they come over. <laughs> but uh, they are so adorable. See the little babies? Hey, little guy. So if you saw me put the cages on the squashes, they're very small and they've gotten very big in two weeks and they're producing. I have a couple zucchinis down there. 
that they're not ready yet, but they're gonna be ready in a couple days. And these are my winter squashes. Like I said, they will climb up on here and they just continue to go along this. Here's a, a buttercup squash started right here. And uh, hopefully they produce very well this summer. Okay, I'm gonna grab a couple peppers. These are mainly bell peppers. This one's called Flavor Burst. My, of all my peppers, this is my favorite bell pepper. I also have Black Beauty. This is Black Beauty. And if I can get one over here. Yeah. So I have Black Beauty and I also have the horn type peppers. So this is a sweet frying pepper. They turn red and I have another one that turns like a nice orange. And these are very, very good for frying. And uh, the garden's looking pretty good compared to how much heat we've had in the last four weeks. Yeah, so it's already 90. It's going to go up to close to 100 today. What we're going to work on is getting this bed of garlic because it's totally ready. Um, because of the heat, I don't think the cloves are as big, but I'm sure whatever we get is going to be great. All right, so when we pull them out, they should come out easy because it's pretty dry. It rained two days ago. Well, it's not bad. Take a look. We've had bigger, but can't complain with this heat. So we'll pull them out and we'll put them in this cart and then I will lay them on a uh, different cart for drying. So uh, we'll get to work. All right, so we got the garlic all pulled out. Here's my beets. They're doing pretty good. All right, so the garlic is all pulled. I don't wash them. I just put them on a rack and I let them dry. Then I wipe the dirt off. Not bad. They're, I guess, small to medium bulbs, but that's better than nothing. So, on to the next harvest. All right, so this is our broccoli and cauliflower bed. With this tremendous heat, I don't think they're gonna do much, but I'm gonna leave them here, and if they do, that's great. But when I planted these, I always plant kohlrabi down the center, and they are ready. Some of them are ready. So I have a little bit of purple, and I'll cut these leaves off, I'll give them to the goats. But I got my purple and I have a, a larger two. So with these kohlrabi, I like to peel them and then put them in roasted vegetables. Uh, I can do it on the grill. I can also do my kohlrabi fritters. Sometimes I mix potatoes with them, but if you haven't had kohlrabi fritters, it's very yummy. <laughs> and uh, just look it up. So it's just kohlrabi and onion, a little flour, and you just saute them and they're very yummy. So that's what I do with those. I also have the green, which the color really doesn't matter. 
because once you peel them, they're all the same inside. So that's my karabi that I need. Okay, so that's pretty much basically what we have in the garden. We have other beds of little things, but I do have a big patch of potatoes and I haven't dug any yet. And like I said, it's July 13th. So we'll pull a couple potatoes and just see what they look like. And just so you see that we have some tomatoes outside the garden with three rows of determinate tomatoes. They're mainly for my sauces and my tomato juice and my diced tomatoes. And here's my potato patch. So we got five long rows of potatoes. So we'll just pull a couple up and uh, see how they're doing so far. Now if you can see, but the deer just started eating on these. So hopefully they stop, but they've done that in the past and they haven't really hurt anything. All right, like I said, it's a little early. We'll see what we got. So that's the one row. That is Eva. And you can see, they're pretty small yet, but that's a, quite a bit of potatoes on there. So we'll do the one of the next row, and that's a Lehigh. And this is Lehigh. There's one right here. Let's see how this looks. Same thing, they're a little small. All right, so that's a look at the potatoes. They're still small, but as I need them for dinner, I can just come out here and pick what I need, and we'll continue to do that until they're finished in the fall, and then when we pull the rest. So uh, now I can just use these instead of going to the store. All right, so that was a quick tour of the garden, and here are the few things that we harvested for today. These are things we're going to be eating in the next few days. And we got our garlic picked. I'm going to set that out to dry. We also have right here our bush beans. These are our transplants. They are very nice, all ready to be planted. We like to put transplants into those. And as soon as we pick those beans, we're going to be putting those right back in their spot. And we'll probably do that later when it cools off a little bit tonight. And uh, yeah, that was it. I hope you enjoyed a look at the garden and some of the things that we picked. I'm really looking forward for tomatoes. We've been getting a couple here and there, but in probably like two weeks, we'll be having a lot more tomatoes. And I don't know if that's everybody's favorite, but that's absolutely our favorite is tomatoes. Well, thanks for watching. And I hope you come back and watch the garden grow. Bye-bye.